The organization is called the Tricontinental Anti-Imperialist Platform. And the Tricontinental itself has a historical legacy which comes from Socialist Cuba's initiative in uniting the struggles of the three southern ca uh, continents or the so-called third world. It just so happens the third world is actually the first world, but this is the white supremacist and neo-colonial uh, world order in which we operate and that impacts language as well, obviously. So the Tricontinental, really, it's, it's about giving priority to the struggles, the actual struggles against neo-colonialism across the global south. And it's also to develop the capacity of those diaspora in within the so-called West. Because in our opinion, the, the voices of resistance that actually exist throughout the global south are not adequately represented in the organizations which purport to support some of these struggles here in London and in the West, and even in the broad anti-war movement. So today is about uh, Gaza and the Palestinian Revolution. And we are unapologetic about being pro-resistance, because it's only through the resistance and the revolutionary struggles of our people which win their own liberation. However just the, the, the stand was of students in the United States and in the West generally against the war of aggression against Vietnam, it was the Vietnamese themselves that liberated themselves. However, just it is that we who support the BDS movement and uh, the movement against Zionism are from the West, it remains the case that it's the Palestinians themselves and their primary allies in the region which has actually escalated strategic the Palestinian struggle. So to the Palestinian struggle itself, the Palestinian struggle started because the greatest purveyors of violence on the planet still today i.e. Britain as a part of NATO and this neo-colonial system, gave the land to the natives of Palestine to white colonial settlers who happened to be overwhelmingly European white Jews. That's the historical uh, root of the problem. The British are masters of war and deception, deceit and manipulation. However slick the ruling circles seem to come across in this country, they are the biggest, excuse the expression, but devils on the planet today. Every war that you see across the global south, every division was the seeds of which were sowed historically by British colonialism and neo-colonialism, and then their cousins across the pond joined in, particularly after the Second World War, although it has a longer history. So today it's about really raising the voice of the Palestinian revolution. Now, there's going to be some controversial things today, because as we know, especially because of the onset of the Arab Spring, nay, perhaps the Arab Sting, because of what's happened in the last three years, many of us have become divided. That's nothing new. You yourselves have become divided amongst some friends or some former friends or comrades. So there's going to be some things today that not all of us would like to hear. But with respect to the subject of the matter, with respect specifically to the martyrs of the Palestinian Revolution, I, I, I would request and suggest that you maintain the discipline of the, the meeting and respect all voices that will feed into this meeting. Of course, we have one of the greatest revolutionaries, and you know the word legend is really misused and abused. Any, frankly, idiot around the celebrity circles is called a legend. But really, a true living legend is going to be with us today. But because she is such a revolutionary icon and leader of the Palestinian struggle, because she did concretely that which had to be done to raise the question of the Palestinian struggle on a global scale, I think you know what I'm talking about, because she did that, she is barred from coming to this country. So we're going to have a live internet link with her in her current uh, city of residence, which is the capital of Jordan, Amman. And also, because of the situation that we're seeing now, the rolling war against Syria and the bombing of Syria that we're seeing, and also of Iraq, that is also going, the, the, the dots connecting Syria to the Palestinian struggle will be connected at this as well.